It's taken us three years, but we finally made it. BMC Racing Team, we're on their bus. Will it be worth the wait? Let's take a look behind the red curtain. Come on in. Can't believe we finally made it. Oh, straight away. Yeah, this is going to be a good bus. L no expense spared. Full leather seats with a red BMC trim. Really, really luxurious. But quite a lot of personal touches too. I mean, look at this. A little souvenir from the Dauphiné. And over here, another little uh, podium mascot from the Giro. Didn't expect that kind of thing. And there's kit everywhere. Darwin Atapuma's aero helmet. Darwin Atapuma's vented helmet. And this seat is for the team leader. Now for the Giro, it's Italian Damiano Caruso. And this is his helmet. And these are his shoes. The hot seat. Let's have a look down the bus. Now a big storage unit here. Princess scanner. Always very handy, of course. There we go. Now, of course, we are in Italy. It's the Giro d'Italia, after all. And they've got all the maps. All the different, well, these are actually French maps here, but lots of different maps. Spare paper for the printer. Looks like a TV. Looks a bit old school for BMC. They're a bit high tech. Um, let's have a look at this DVD slot. Oh, no. My mistake. It's a microwave oven. TV dinners and all. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven seats. Lots of different flavoured gels. Black currant, lemon and lime. It's like a warehouse red fruit punch. Tropical fruit. Pretty much every flavour permutation. Lemon and lime, so plenty of stuff on here for the riders. What else have we got here? Vanilla as well. So. Again, underneath was the gels, we've got the bars up here. Natural energy flavour, that's strawberry and cranberry. What other ones have we got? We've got uh, another strawberry and cranberry. Lots of different flavours, but again, a real uh, big supply of energy products for the riders, especially on a grand tour. They'll need that, especially on the transition stages. Um, another wet bag, different one here. This is Sylvain Dillier. That's a nice bag, isn't it? All the different compartments inside. All the wet kit underneath there, gloves. And then capes, caps, etc. Everything a rider would need post stage to make sure they keep warm and dry. And also enough stuff in there as well for the podium. And helmets everywhere. It really is. Ah, I wonder who this is. Great place to sit. There's a little race radios here as well. Now, this is where the riders can sit, fire the laptop up. And I quite like this configuration. It means you can basically have a chat with your teammates while you're going to the stage start or to the hotel. Nice pair of Oakleys. Who's is this? Ah, Philippe Gilbert. He's quite good, isn't he? Better put these back. So how many TVs does this bus have? Let's check it out. One. Thank you. Look at that. May the force be with you. Technically not a telly, but a screen, really. Number two. Let's hope this works. Look at that. I have the power. Number three. We're actually facing the wrong way, but you get, you get the gist. <laughs> Quattro. Five tellies. That's a whirlpool. Didn't know they made tellies. Basically, the riders do have a lot of space, but again, a lot of the space up here is used for storage. So let's pop one of these open. Again, just lots. And we've got caps in the corner, uh, a lot more power bar products. We've got gels, peanut and caramel bar there. Nice little kitchen area. It's good to see a double coffee machine here. Again, an endless supply of coffee is consumed on cycling teams. More storage space up here, pots and pans and plates, etc. Some coffee up there too. Now the piece de resistance of this little kitchenette is this. Le cocarde. 
is the winery of team owner Andy Reese. I've never seen this before, but they've got essentially a little mini wine cellar in here. Let's have a look what they've got. A nice Rioja there, 2007. A little wooden rack. So it is really like a proper little mini wine cellar. I must admit, one of the favorite things on this bus is the little souvenirs and motifs from races gone by. I know this is uh, from uh, Taylor Finney's visit to the podium in the Giro a couple of years back, the little Esther Tay uh, mascot. And this is a course, a cutout course profile from the 2011 Tour de France. And this is where Cadell Evans just nipped Alberto Contador. This, of course, the tour that Cadell went on to win. More storage space here. Let's have a little look what we've got. This is a fridge, so all your, all, your, all your water basically nicely chilling in there. Some more storage here for your radios, basically. It looks like your Wi-Fi setup and your, your internet hub here, batteries, cables, etc. Another fridge at the bottom, loads and loads of soda, cold drinks. Looks like a ginger beer here, never seen that before. Lightly sparkling organic ginger drink. Yeah, you caught me again. Got my trousers up though. Have a little look at this. Now we all know the importance of keeping hydrated whilst bike racing, but I've never seen something like this before. Uh, so close to where you need to do your job. Hydrated, the top three. Dehydrated, these are rather funny colors in between. And basically here, it does suggest you consult a doctor because you're gonna be passing sand at that point. But that's, yeah, never seen that before. <laughs> here we are at the back of the bus. Now they've got, uh, rather than uh, a couple of teams, well many teams have actually used this area as a meeting area, this is the complete opposite, it's more of a changing area. So you've got two very well appointed showers, number one, some spare towels as well, and number two, actually there's quite a lot of space in that one, and then the rest of the area clearly is just for getting changed post-race. And this is actually where TJ Van Garderen one of the main riders of BMC likes to hang out and chill even when the bus is going along. So this is his little private zone. Plenty of cushions. It's like a little bit of a chaise lounge actually. I think I might have a, see what it's like to be. There we go, that's uh, Rick Zarbel's helmet there. Actually, give myself a pillow. It's actually quite nice. Nice ambient lighting, tinted windows as well, so people can't see in, but you can see out. A bit more storage space I'm gonna have a rummage through now though. Load of BMC towels, branded up of course. What well, wouldn't expect anything less really, would you? Another one here. So again, real utilization of space. Load more towels here and some massage products, little mitts that the Swan years use to clean the riders down before the podium or just after the finish. Get the mud off the face, etc. Again, they really have used the space well. Again. In here we've got a load of cleaning products, baby wipes, it's a really helpful shampoo, of course. Looks like another little fridge. Yep, another fridge filled with Fanta, etc. Lots of soft drinks, but that is actually a fridge. All those drinks are nice and chilled. Yeah, there really is a wealth of storage space here. All the power bar products. So you've got your protein bars here as well, electrolyte drinks, energized bars, and again, all your recovery drinks too. Haven't seen those just yet, so different flavors. You've got your chocolate flavor there. Double handle this one. Again, more aerodynamic helmets. Ah, and some nice musettes. And the team actually use these not only for the feed zones, but to give to the fans as little souvenirs as well. And there's a plentiful supply of those in there. Let's have a look in here. Load more spare helmets. I wonder what's in this one. Wow, it's a pink helmet. Look at that. Now, you're probably wondering why this is doing, what this is doing in there really, but you know, most teams do actually have some pre-prepared clothing, gloves, bike frames even, should their rider end up as a leader of a Grand Tour. And BMC, of course, got a very good chance they could have a leader, so they've got a special pink helmet. And I'm sure they won't mind, they're a lovely team, me popping it on. Matt Stevens in a Giro, 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 leader's helmet. I wonder if they'll sign me up. Well, there you have it, Team BMC Racing's team bus. And to be honest, that really did live up to expectations. Well worth the wait, and one of my favorite buses without a doubt. And the thing that I love about this bus in particular, it's not only all the bespoke bits and bobs, but the personal touches, the sporting references of the past. I love all this. For more Giro d'Italia content, click up here. 
and for our Torah California content, click down here. And to subscribe to GCN, click on the BMC bus. I am Phil Gill. Well, I'm not, but I'm wearing his hat.